Welcome to another day with Jesus. A 7 minute inspirational and encouraging daily podcast by Pastor Pritchie. As you listen to today's teaching, may it help you grow closer to Jesus. Greetings to you my dear friend in Jesus name. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing today, the Lord is close to you. He is near to the broken hearted. He is near to those who are desperately depending upon him. If we are going to be ferocious in our pursuit of God's presence, if we are going to be intentional in our expression of how much we need him, then he is going to be faithful. He is going to be constantly available for us to experience him and encounter him. See the more that we live for the glory of God the more that we live to honor him the more we will grow in humility the more we will grow in our love for one another it is necessary that we develop an attitude that considers the other person better than ourselves better than our own qualification our own uh, abilities talents everything that we have we have to learn to keep the other person the person in front of us at a higher pedestal let me give you the book of john chapter 3 and verse 29 this is uh, John the Baptist saying this about Jesus now John had been ministering a way more than Jesus had been and he had been in the ministry he had been doing things far longer than Jesus had been and yet at this point it says he is replying to the people and he says it is the bridegroom who marries the bride and the bridegroom's friend is simply glad to stand with him and to hear his vows therefore i am filled with joy at his success this is john the baptist saying this about jesus because he wanted jesus to get all the glory he wanted jesus to get all the honor he wanted jesus to get all the praise and the reason he was intentional in pursuing this uh, glory and honor going to jesus was because he had a revelation of who jesus is he had an understanding of who jesus truly was and it is necessary my dear friends not just in our relationship with god that we be intentional to bring glory and honor to god but even in our relationship with people around us I don't think that John understood in the fullest uh, manner that Jesus was God himself, right? And yet, because John had a revelation of the purpose with which God had sent him to the world because he said behold the lamb of God uh, that takes away the sins of the whole world, he had a, a understanding of his assignment John was willing to celebrate what Jesus was about to do. John was willing to submit to Jesus. John was willing to give more credit, more glory to Jesus. Today, if we are going to be able to uh, humble ourselves before our brothers and sisters, it's going to happen only when we have a revelation in the spirit of what they are capable of of what they can achieve of who they are in the spirit see we understand a person by their behaviors by their history by their past by their present how they make their choices and their decisions and that's a fine way of judging somebody uh, there's nothing wrong with it and yet true honor comes when you see a person the way that god sees them when you see them in the spirit realm because in the natural realm there are so many things that are hidden so many things that are not brought to the light in the natural realm see even demons can see things right and when they see things they see things based on what you have done in the past 
and based on your past they judge you and they try to bring uh, problems and temptations accordingly but it's only somebody who has a understanding of god's heart god's spirit god's uh, plan for the whole world for humanity that they don't look at the past but they look at the future they look at the possibilities they look at the potential they look at what god can bring about through this person and that's what john did in this scripture my prayer is that you will constantly be prayerful when you are in conversations with the people around you it may be a believer or an unbeliever and you would learn to rejoice with the fact that this person is going to be used by god this person is going to be blessed by god this person is going to be celebrated by god i i am okay it is it is not my duty to marry somebody else's bride it is his bride and i am going to stand and rejoice i am a friend of the bridegroom and i am going to stand and rejoice that his life is getting set and and that there are things that god has planned for his life that is falling in order so many times the reason jealousy and envy and uh, and mutual uh, disagreements and anger and fights come in because we don't understand the principle of spirit filled honor we have a understanding of how the world respects the person in front of them but that's not how godly people honor other godly people we don't honor based on what we can see and understand we honor based on the potential based on the perspective that we receive from the spirit john says i am simply glad to be a friend of the bridegroom i don't care if i don't get all the blessings i don't care if i'm not the preacher i don't care if i'm not the one laying hands on the sick and healing them and and rescuing them and all of that i don't care about any of these things all that i care is that i am a friend of the bridegroom and i am filled with joy in all of his successes today the lord is calling us to a lifestyle like that where we will rejoice with somebody else's blessing we will rejoice with somebody else's growth with somebody else's promotion with somebody else's assignment being fulfilled under the grace that god has given them i hope that this word encourages you and that you would live for jesus live the way that john lived uh, and glorify jesus for the rest of the day ahead have a blessed and a beautiful day ahead we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast you can connect with us at pastorpriji.com for any queries or to receive help in any specific area may your day be filled with jesus today